It's story time. Who's going to come forward? It doesn't say children's story anymore. So. <laughs> Some people, they lived on farms. 
farms and they had to, you know, put butcher their animals and they ate their food with lots and lots of fat in it. And that's not good for us either. But they didn't know. And some parents thought that some fruit was poison too. And so they didn't give their children fresh fruit. And that would be awful. And what else is there? They had, let's see. Oh, this was another weird thing too. They thought that the nighttime air, when it got dark, that it was poisonous. And so at nighttime, they would close all their windows really tight so they didn't have any fresh air at night. Now, it's nice to be able to sleep with fresh air. And we need fresh air, don't we? We need exercise and we need fresh air. We need all of those things. And there were some doctors, get this, that would tell people, well, you need to smoke a cigar and that'll help clear out your lungs. Can you, yeah, can you imagine that? Oh, yeah, that's so bad for us. Now we know that, but back then they didn't know that. And um, so that year, that the, that year, in 1863, when our church was, was formed, God gave Ellen White a vision. And God told Ellen White, you know, you need to tell people they need to be healthy. And, and, and so they had to come up with healthy ways to eat and healthy ways. And so she did. She told everybody what God had told her about eating. Um, healthy food and um, not using drugs and not using alcohol and not using tobacco. No cigars. Oh, no, it's awful. And um, so, and lots of fresh air and exercise. So, so Ellen White did that. She shared that with everybody. And uh, we still read some of her information about that too. And then three years later, after that, on Christmas Day, God gave Ellen White another vision, just to remind everybody about being healthy and how important it is. People used to do things that they wanted, they tried, they thought was right, but it wasn't. It was harmful. And so Ellen White was helping us, or God was helping us through Ellen White to realize that we need lots and lots of water, right? Water inside and outside, right? <coughs> Lots of water. And we need to drink lots of water and wash and bathe and keep clean. And we need to exercise. Yeah, run and play outside. Yeah, we have to go to the doctor sometimes. But we need to exercise and play outside. We need to do all of these things that we can to help take care of the gift that God gave us, which is our body, right? Okay? So, <clears throat> when, you, when Christmas comes to your house, you remember, I have a gift that God gave me special, and it's me. It's my body. And so God's going to help you. He has a plan. He has a reason for you to be here. He wants you to take good care of yourselves, okay? It says in our Bible, and I think I read this to you before, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's true. So let's pray, let's bow our heads real quick, and we're going to ask Jesus to help us, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for these children here today. Thank you for the sun, and thank you for the gift of our bodies, and I ask that you help us all to do everything that we can to have healthy bodies so that we can serve you better with love in our hearts, and we can be a witness to other people so that you can come soon and take us home to heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much.